There's a saying, if walls could talk. Well, if they could, what would your walls say about the space you call home? Would they talk in colors or textures? Would they recount your passions or memories? Hey, hey back it up. I'm nowhere close to even getting some wall art up on my walls. Yes, that's me. I currently stay in a rented apartment and far from getting a gorgeous accent wall, I've been trying to figure how to turn my bare walls into something of interest without nails or any kind of drilling. And am I glad to say, I finally found a rather effective and easy hack to do just that. DIY framed wall art with no nails and no holes in the wall. Hi, I'm Anusha and in this episode of Nest Artfully, I'm going to be taking you through a very simple solution to get your art or photos up on the wall with no nails or no holes, but with a framed appearance. We currently live in a rented, fully furnished apartment and I have this big plain white wall that I really wanted to dress up with something like this. But putting up heavy wall art with heavy frames is not a simple task. You definitely can't get them up on the wall without the usage of nails and drilling a hole into this wall or using nails is something we definitely don't want to do. So today we've got some DIY wall art that we've put together and some photographs. Let's see if we can take these two items and give them a framed art look for our living room. So for today's project, I've got us some of these. Can you tell what it is? Well, if you can't, they're actually paper plates. And I've got them in three different sizes to help us achieve uh, a framed art look. Now we can use them directly. As you can see, they do look like a frame, don't they? Or we can actually place one of the smaller plates within the bigger one to achieve a nested frame look. And the best thing about these paper plates are they're biodegradable. They are very budget friendly and just about anybody can get them in the local supermarket or one of the online e-commerce stores. It's pretty easy to get and it's pretty easy to use. So let's see how it goes. So there are multiple ways we can style these paper plates to mimic the framed art look. And one of them is to directly place any DIY art within the biggest paper plate we have here or we can go for the nested approach where we take one of the smaller plates nested within the bigger one and then layer it off on top with our photograph. So I'm going to try both today and I think I'll opt for this look for our photo gallery wall and this one where we directly place the art for the framed art look. Instead of placing any kind of art or photo within these paper plates, you can even directly paint on them like I've done here in my child's bedroom. So we've got square paper plates here and the first thing we did was to measure the inside area so that we can get the photo printouts and the art done the, to the correct size. So the biggest plate here is about 15 centimeters inside uh, and the smaller one is at about 12 centimeter and the smallest one is at about 10 centimeter. So we took down these measurements and got our photos from uh, our favorite trips and got them cut to the right size so we can just directly place them inside. So one of the reasons to get the size right is you don't want it sitting. You don't want the art of the photograph sitting on these curves of the paper plate. When you actually get something framed, they use the help of cardboards and glass to press it down. But here, since we're just going to be taping it to the paper plate, we want to make sure it's within the inner depth. So to try and make this look even better, I'm going to dress up the borders. Now there are two things I can do. I can paint up till here, that is including the curve area, or I can just stop painting at this thin outer section. So I'm going to try both. I think one will look better for the gallery wall with the photographs and this thin outer area coverage will look better for something like this, which the colors really pop against more of a white backdrop. Um, now to get this area painted, I think the most effective way would be to go with a spray paint option because it will give you an even look without those brush strokes being seen. 
so it look a little more professional and I do happen to have gold spray paint so I'm going to try it out on this. So these are the two options we're going to be trying out today. One as you can see I've spray painted the whole plate gold. The other one is where I'm going to keep things far more simple and only have a thin border of gold. Now for this one I'll have to get the plates ready with masking tape so that the center section is unspoiled by any leakage. So to get started all we need is masking tape, scissors and a small piece of cardboard or any other kind of paper to just block this majority of white space so that we can just use the tape on the edges Well, I thought masking is a lot of fun, but yes, it's taking a lot more focus than I expected because I've got to carefully mask all these edges while keeping all the sides even. So I'm taking a five minute break with my tape. Be right back. All right, chai is done and the plates are all masked up. Now I'm going to mask up and we're going to head out for the spray painting session. So we are done with the spray painting and now I'm going to just remove the masking tape. Now we have to allow for some variations in the paint. There could be a little, few spots here and there where the paint hasn't reached or there could be a few spots where the paint actually leaked into the white area. Now remember I'm only removing the masking tape after the spray paint has dried up completely. We don't want any smudges. All right, so that's done. I'm quite happy with the results. As you can see, we hardly have any smudges. Uh, just very few small spots where the paint has leaked into the white area, but then I can easily touch it up with a little bit of white paint. And a few spots where when I removed the masking tape, the gold also was removed. So I have a gold pen here. Um, which is actually for metal, glass, plastic, wood. So it's something that I can use. So it really makes sense to take some time with the masking. And um, even if the tape looks like it's stuck to the paper pretty well, I would still suggest that you press down on the edges so that there's no space for the paint to leak in when you're spraying. Now we can start using our pictures and using the other frame that is, as the case may be. If we are nesting it, it's going to look something like this. So we will just need to, again, use masking tape. I wouldn't want to use permanent glue because in case I want to use it separately or uh, with a different sort of combination, then I don't have to buy plates again, which is really just a waste. So I'm going to just use masking tape. It's going to get the job done. So I'm going to be able to nest it. It's going to stay there in place but when I want to remove it with just a little bit of pressure it's going to come off all right so we have all our plates ready the borders are done and now it's time for layering them up I'm going to start off by placing the smaller plate inside the bigger one and for that I'm going to take the help of masking tape sorry this is the wrong plate size yeah this one so I'm going to just take some masking tape and just let it sit on the outer four corners. And then I'm going to just try to center this as much as I can so that the white space on all four sides is even. This is done. And now we're going to get the photo print inside. For that, once again, I'm going to just take some masking tape. And once that's done, Again, we try to center it as much as we can and gently press down. 
let's complete this process for all the frames and then we'll put them up on the wall we have about 10 photo prints in two different sizes so let me do this for all the frames we've done nesting the frames and we've done putting in the picture as well now we have to get them ready to go up on the wall once again with masking tape so I'm just going to cut a few bits of masking tape and put it on the backs of these frames and then we're going to put them up. So the frames are ready now and it's time to put it up on the wall and check how it's turned out. So as you can see the gallery wall concept is now complete and I've just used paper plates to recreate that framed photo look and I think it's turned out pretty good and now I'm going to put my favorite. I've done some DIY Nordic inspired art and I've put that on these frames. Like I said earlier they really provide a color pop against the white frame so I think this is going to go better in the living room and it's going to look pretty nice on the wall. Let's see. So what I envisioned for the living room wall is now finally complete as you can see. These little pieces of art were done by me and it's a very simple process that I will take you guys through in a separate video. But for now, I think these frames, paper plate frames, uh, provide a very classy look to these little art prints rather than having them go directly up on the wall. I think this gives a very nice aesthetic appearance. It's a very simple solution, something you can try at home today. I hope you loved this video and if you did, please like, subscribe and press the bell notification to stay updated about all our upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.